Hello pile number one, welcome to today's reading. Today we're doing what are your most attractive and seductive traits. So this is not just going to be looks. I know some people click on these videos and they're like, you didn't speak about the looks. Of course, uh, looks are there, but uh, it's more about personality and who you are on the inside and whatever that I channel through the cards. So this is how the reading goes. You chose the card stone. I'm going to start with these cards first then we'll take a look at the other ones I also want to mention that uh, I'm gonna be launching a new reading soon uh, it's a compatibility match between two charts so if anyone's interested in that get ready get the date time get all the information on your partner or whoever you're interested in it's gonna be very comprehensive I'm really excited about launching this reading so I'm gonna launch that soon you can also go down to the link. Um, there's a shop link. There's a commissions link. So if you're interested in booking with me, check those out. But yeah, I'm going to be adding a new reading that I'm really excited about. So I'm tempted to put it like this because of the circle, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you got the elephant. You got the heart. It's probably my favorite card from this deck. It's very pretty. We have the friend. For Nakshatra, you got Uttra Bhadrapada. I'm not surprised. I think uh, the animal uni for this Nakshatra is an elephant. I didn't cross check, but I think it's a elephant. The elephant also makes me think of Bhari Nakshatra. We have two of pentacles. We have three of cups as well. And we have the moon and the mouse. So these are the cards that you got. Let's put the stone here. This one looks odd. Let's just keep it anyway. So what am I seeing here? First of all, uh, elephant came out. This is also fire element. We see a little fire here as well. So I'm getting this energy that uh, pile number one, you could be someone who's uh, who remembers things. Elephants are known to uh, hold on to things. They don't forget. So you could be someone, let's say someone is talking and they'll mention something about their favorite perfume or their favorite book or something, their favorite author. And you'll be the sort of person who'll remember that and then get that person a very sentimental sort of a gift like you pay attention to the small little things you pick up on things and uh, even the gifts that you give there could be like an emotional aspect to it with elephant it shows a person with high emotional intelligence a person who's sensitive to other people's feelings and emotions someone who can read the room is that sort of energy someone intelligent elephant is also um, in vedic astrology it makes me think of the planet jupiter uh, planet Jupiter is associated with wisdom, guidance, knowledge, spiritual wisdom especially. So it's a person who some of you could actually have a, um, moon and Jupiter conjunction. You could have planets in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. You could have Jupiter in the first house also. And obviously Uttra Bhadrapada placements. Some of you could have planets sitting in this nakshatra, planets sitting in the sign of Pisces. Even this is in the back is giving me Pisces energy. We have moon here also. I forgot. So see, we have Jupiter and moon already. The conjunction is coming through very strongly. Okay. So I'm picking up this energy of a person who's... Um, first of all, maybe you, you could ha also have a big, large forehead. Uh, you could have a beautiful face. I'm drawn towards the face being attractive. We see faces here. Usually three of cups. Um, we see the image of people standing and dancing. But in this particular deck, we see uh, the faces. So there's an, what do you call it? Emphasis on the face. Okay. Here also I see the face. So some of you could have attractive facial features. Maybe eyes also. Your forehead. Maybe you have a prominent forehead or even some people uh, who have larger foreheads, they feel insecure about it. But people generally don't mind that. Um, I'm just getting... The placement of the planets is making me think of a large forehead, possibly. You could also have uh, maybe a bit of golden hue to your skin color or your eyes also. I'm getting that. 
मे बी कर्ल कर्ली हेयर ऑल्सो आई एम गेटिंग हेयर बट ओवरऑल वॉट एम पिकिंग अप इज इट्स योर फेस आउट ऑफ ऑल द बॉडी पार्ट्स यू नो पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर ओके वट मेक्स मी अट्रैक्टिव वट फेशियल फीचर और वट एवर इज अट्रैक्टिव इट्स योर फेस इज कमिंग थ्रू कैन बी योर हेयर ऑल्सो बट ओवरऑल एज अ पर्सन वट मेक्स यू अट्रैक्टिव इज द फैक्ट दैट योर सॉफ्ट योर जेंटल यू केयर अबाउट अदर पीपल्स फीलिंग्स एंड यू पे अटेंशन टू देर नीड्स मून कैन ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट इमोशनल इमोशंस इन जनरल सो मे बी अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल फील एट पीस इन योर प्रेजेंस वी एव हार्ट ऑल्सो सो यूर लविंग यू आर अ जेनरस पर्सन यू हैव अ बिग हार्ट ओके स्टोन मेक्स मी थिंक ऑफ अ स्टेबल ग्राउंडेड पर्सन लाइक अ स्टेबलिंग सॉर्ट ऑफ अ फोर्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु माइट बी गोइंग टू अ डिफिकल्ट टाइम इन लाइफ दे माइट कम टू यू एंड वेंट देयर फ्रस्ट्रेशन दे माइट ऑल्सो कम टू यू एज अ फ्रेंड वी एव फ्रेंड हियर सो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल सी अ फ्रेंड इन यू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल सी योर बिग हार्ट हाउ यू आर जेनरस पाइसीज एनर्जी इज कमिंग थ्रू राइट पाइसीज इज अबाउट जेनरॉसिटी वेन यू हेल्प सम वन आउट इट्स ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड टू डोनेशंस सो यू कूड हैव अ बिग हार्ट वेयर मे बी यू मेक अ लॉट ऑफ डोनेशन पीपल नोटिस दैट अबाउट यू एंड दे फाइंड इट अट्रैक्टिव लाइक दिस पर्सन इज सो डेडिकेटेड टू हेल्पिंग अदर पीपल स्पेशली फॉर चैरिटी वर्क वॉलेंटियर वर्क स्टफ लाइक दैट इवन ट्वेल्थ हाउस इज कनेक्टेड टू हॉस्पिटल्स ऑल्सो some of you could have a work or a job where your job is very noble so people might say you're doing god's work so that could also be there like you are someone who normally or um just in general you want to make other people's life better you want to have a positive influence on other people and you have a very calming sort of a energy and force around you your aura is very beautiful where people feel a very calm and centered they might come to you to vent their frustration they might also come to you to uh, like a shoulder to cry on people might express their feelings and emotions to you they might share their deep secrets with you that they don't share with other people okay these are the thing that qualities that make you attractive how you have a big heart and you have good character and you're very sensitive also to other people's needs so you pay attention and uh, you try to help other people out that's what i'm getting also there's a sensitivity there's a what do you call it feminine sort of a energy i'm picking up here with moon being here the heart it makes me think of venus the numbers also adds to 6 which is the number of venus we have friend here mercury some of you could have venus mercury conjunction a lot of your friends could also fall for you I think uh, the energy I'm picking up is you're such a nice person, pile number one, and you have uh, I don't know there's something about your energy, who you are as a person, where even your friends, the people who the more they get to know you, they uh, might start falling for you. So even though this is about attractiveness, there's so many qualities that I'm picking up where people find you attractive and they fall in love. That's sort of a vibe I'm picking up here. also your wisdom people might come to you for gu- uh, guidance and counseling for advice in general you could also be a natural teacher natural healer i'm getting hierophant energy also with this pile so you're good at teaching people you're good at helping other people out okay then you juggle everyone really well with two of pentacles i feel like you could possibly have a lot of connections lots of friends lots of people you're in touch with and helping a lot of people out you kind of have to juggle and prioritize different people and you make time for every single person that sort of energy i'm picking up some of you could have jupiter in the 12th you could have venus in the 12th stable someone reliable people can count on you so it is attractive because in today's day and age uh, you might find someone you might meet someone you find them attractive but can you trust them that's hard to find so you could be someone that people naturally tend to trust pile number 1 and that's very attractive where is it focusing on the cards it's not okay people tend to trust you easily stone makes me feel like it's also giving me some saturn energy some of you could have jupiter saturn conjunction also but yeah let's just talk about the card which is about stone something heavy here also uh, elephant is heavy so ha- it's everything is a symbol so what does it mean someone heavy it means a person that uh, other people tend to take seriously okay 
and you're a stable person so people that connect with you you stay in their life for a long time there's longevity that i'm picking up here then heaviness also uh says that a person with a strong reputation where you say something people pay attention to it people take it seriously when you make promises you follow through okay so this is what this heavy stone energy it's talking about a person who's stable and grounding a uh, good energy where people trust you they believe in you and it's hard to find a person like you where you have a good nature it's hard to find nice people in today's day and age right so you're a good one and not only that uh, you help other people out you go out of your way to help others and uh, you're reliable you're responsible also i feel like maybe a lot of responsibilities on you because we have two of pentacles which is about having different priorities maybe you take care of some of your family members or uh, your friends also your friends are like family to you we have three of cups this card is also associated with friends okay then mouse is here mouse can talk about loss or some sort of loss that you suffer um, and overall the way that i'm seeing the cards is a person who even when you face hurdles you face obstacles people 11 11 on the clock so yeah um uh, what was i saying yeah so you face something you go through some trouble but you don't let that get you down this jupiter energy can talk about positivity also so you have a positive influence you have a positive mindset you could also be good at manifesting stuff so when something bad happens you take it in your stride you keep it moving so you bounce back very quickly and also uh you are very detail oriented also so you get work done you are always working you are always doing something and you don't let setbacks um take you down also the way i was seeing this is uh you know how sometimes when you break up or there was a situation ship things didn't work out and the way that people handle that um i think you are someone who handles yourself with so much grace and uh, just class and elegance where people feel like oh i didn't date this person or i was rude towards this person or i didn't give them the due respect so they'll feel very ashamed and they might look at you as um just because the way you handle things especially when things fall out or breakups happen uh, people find that attractive the way you handle yourself so that is also maybe a very specific message for someone out there let me know if this resonates but you're the sort of person who will not scream shout or uh, i don't know just not do anything embarrassing you uh, maintain your dignity and that is something that people find attractive in you okay let's keep going if there's some other message i'll come back to it we have community uh, number 7 this card always makes me think of the 3 of cups and you also have it here because the imagery is similar we have three almost like uh, almost like a group of friends here so uh, you are attractive in the sense that you can connect with people easily lot of people you could po be popular also but you're a good friend i think there's something about your friendship or even the um, people who are romantically interested in you they might see a friend in you pile number 1 they see a person who's um easy to get along with you care about your friends you're not someone who gets jealous or tries to bully a friend roast them not like that it's very positive vibes that you give yeah so that is one thing also your social skills are attractive the way you connect with people the way you uh communicate and uh, you have something to talk about you're interesting to talk to so your social skills are very attractive and you could also be someone let's say if you're a girl picking this pile you're not going to be someone who's going to be talking bad about the other girls or putting someone down or i don't know this this very secure energy that i'm picking up here which makes you more attractive to your partners you're not the one to talk bad about people for any particular reason you keep it um uh, very positive overall and you don't get involved in gossip and nonsense we have spiritual maturity number 7 again coming up there so many sevens also coming through we have yin and yang let's put this one here so this is balancing the masculine and feminine energy you could be a grounding force for uh, the people from the opposite gender in your life you might be very grounding to them or you might reflect a lot of things people might learn a lot from you so you're a natural teacher just living your life people learn a lot from you that's one message i'm getting then uh, obviously 
I'm picking up maturity here, spiritual knowledge. You're the sort of person who will not show off your spiritual knowledge. You might not be like, hey, I just listened to this philosophy or I read this book or I follow this practice. You, you will not superimpose your views on other people. If they come to you, you will guide them, you will teach them. But you live your life in such a way that people are naturally curious. They'll be asking you stuff. Hey, what is your secret? What what do you believe in? What's your everyday routine? And that those sort of questions you might get. But because people want to emulate you because the way you live your life is so impressive. That's the first thing. Second, you don't uh, put your own principles and morals on someone else. You're not like forcing other people to follow what you believe in. So that is also makes you very attractive. Um, that's one thing I'm picking up. Okay, you also have foresight. Maybe some of you could have good intuition also. That also makes you attractive. The fact that you have all these things, people might feel like, oh, this person has so many secrets or this person has great intuition and I don't know how they do stuff. They're hiding something. But it's not like that. And it just makes you very attractive. The fact that um, you're so in touch with your intuition and... You also take the high road always. You come across as very mature. Okay. And also if you're uh, like a female picking this pile, you come across as very feminine. There's so many feminine qualities. And if you're a guy picking this pile, you also are in touch with your feminine side, which makes you attractive. That's what I'm getting. Overall, whoever's picking this pile, you embrace your masculine and feminine energies in a really... Um, great manner where it um, elevates you as a person it's very attractive yin and yang and uh, the gender that you're interested in is naturally drawn towards you they're attracted to you that's what i'm getting for astrology you got venus this is the first card that came out then first house this also came out i didn't pull, pull the third card why because i al already was I pulled two cards each for every single pile, but in the third pile, three cards came out. So I felt like, okay, let me just pull one extra for pile number one and pile number two. And Pisces came out, which I was not surprised because I was already getting a Venus exalted energy from this pile. A. Second, Uttara Bhadrapada falls in Pisces. So I was al already thinking of Pisces and then it came out. So I was not surprised. So Venus gets exalted in the sign of Pisces. Some of you could have... Obviously, displacement, Venus exalted. Some of you could have Pisces ascendant. You could have fish eyes, like round eyes. Something about your eyes is very attractive. Even when you look at this image, you know, you're naturally drawn towards the eyes. Okay. And uh, some of you could have Venus and Rahu conjunction. Why I'm looking at a mirror. Mirror is uh, Rahu. Okay. Then what else am I getting here? Just going over the placements right now. Exalted Venus, some of you could have uh, debilitated Venus, some of you could have Venus in Libra also. Your Venus is special. Uh, Venus quality is coming through, is getting channeled in this reading. Uh, Venus is attractiveness, someone of feminine, good looking. So you're good looking, pile number one. Again, it's talking about the face also. Some of you could have dimples also with Venus Rahu. Because uh, if I'm not wrong, cheeks are Venus. I think cheeks represent, uh, Venus is connected to cheeks on your face. So something about maybe people comment on your cheeks, you could have a round face also. Uh, some of you could have dimples, that is very attractive. But overall, uh, you could also be someone who takes care of your looks. We see a girl here looking in the mirror. So maybe the way you do your eye makeup, your makeup in general, the way you dress is very attractive. You come across as very, I don't know, um, polished put together and you have venus exalted which makes a person uh, someone who follows their heart this is not going to be someone who uh, is like acting like rich high and mighty not like those uh, valley girls this energy is a person who can connect with from the poorest of the poor to the richest of the richest because you follow your heart you have good character like i said i was picking that up here with the heart also Someone who's so living, loving, so generous that they can see the good in every single person. That's the energy I'm getting here. Very uh, spiritual energy can also be there. These are the people who are... This is how you see Bhakti Yoga. Venus exalted people. 
can be very religious also they could have a guru that they are very dedicated to people who are religious can have this placement or people who are looking for spiritual wisdom can have this placement people who are very devoted to their partner can have this placement because venus is love relationships your partner also okay someone who is effortless maybe doesn't put a lot of effort but they always look beautiful that's the energy of uh, venus in pisces debilitated venus person will put extra effort in their looks and everything has to be particular person becomes very obsessed with the little details okay this is more so going with the flow and naturally comes to the person where they don't have to put in effort it just happens naturally okay and it's talking about your looks again it's face first house is face so your face your facial features make you attractive and also who you are as a person it's also your brain first house is also head so brain your thinking your thought process um all of these qualities are very attractive and uh, yeah that's it i could go on longer but it's already 20 minutes so i hope you guys like this reading let me know your thoughts leave your comments and uh, if you want to book a reading with me you can find the links in the description there's a link to my shop you can buy my tarot course from there the, there's a bunch of things i'll link check out the description if you want to support the channel consider becoming a member and please subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching bye guys hello pile number 2 welcome to today's reading today we're doing what are your most attractive and seductive traits so these are by the way not going to be just specific to your looks it's going to be more than that so your personality your qualities whatever whatever comes through with the cards that's what i'm going to talk about this is the card you chose we have the tear i'm going to start out with these cards then we'll take a look at the other oracle cards in a bit i was thinking about pulling some uh, tarot also but i pulled so many cards from just the oracles that i was like you know that's enough i do have two tarot cards here so that's all we getting today I'm gonna start the reading before. I just want to mention that I'm gonna be launching a new reading soon. It's a chart compatibility. So if you have a partner you're already dating, or if you're interested in someone you have their date of birth, you can get this reading. It's gonna be amazing. I'm really excited about launching this uh, reading. Very excited. It's gonna be comprehensive. It's uh, gonna have the ancient methods of. Uh, vedic astrology how we match the chart but also modern methods and just so many things i i just cannot wait to start doing that reading so if you're interested keep an eye out for that if you want to book a reading with me the link will be there i do offer already offer three different types of reading okay so check the all the links are always in the description check out the description let's start the reading you got clouds number 6 we have the bear earth energy we have reunion so lots of love vibes i'm already feeling with this um uh, pile we have judgment in reverse scorpio energy we have wheel of fortune jupiter energy some of you could have jupiter in scorpio which is funny i have that i have that we have ashlesha i also have ashlesha a lot of my clients tend to have ashlesha placement especially mars in ashlesha it's the i think the most common uh placement i see in my clients charts we have dog we have the key and this also gives me ardra nakshatra um energy why because the tear is one of the symbols for ardra so it makes me think of that every single time i look at the card maybe chitra also because uh, this looks like a gem and gem is a symbol for chitra some of you could have these placements we first of all i just got rahu energy from this because we have the smoke and cloud almost looks like a cloud but it's a smoke which is uh, symbols for rahu we have uh, venus here and this coffee coffee um, is saturn energy so some of you i feel like this is my reading i have most of these placements i have saturn venus and rahu in trine so you can have uh, these placements in conjunction or trine there's some sort of connection going on aspect going on with the saturn venus rahu i'm getting that strongly in this pile but anyway let's just talk about the cards overall what i'm seeing here what makes you attractive pile number 2 i think it's uh, can be your communication style first of all because with the tea and coffee it makes me think of uh, sitting and talking to someone having a conversation over coffee 
so that's one thing i think it's your imagination also your point of view on things your mentality the way you think uh the your ideas uh your communication style you could also be flirtatious you could be um i don't know something about your communication could be very attractive even though we don't have a lot of mercury here i'm just getting this with this card specifically i'm also getting this energy that uh the people that uh, you break up with they also tend to maybe come back to you again and again because the wheel of fortune can sometimes symbolize cycles that we repeat reunion here also is not talking about connection it's about coming back into connection so maybe a lot of people coming back to you constantly or you running through people's mind constantly it's like someone looks at you and they fall in love and they keep imagining scenarios in their head you could have this ability to really grasp other people's attention or something about your looks your attractiveness or the way you speak the way you walk it can be anything i'm not getting one specific thing here but just who you are as a person pile number 2 there's something where people fantasize about you people imagine things people have a lot of curiosity towards you and uh, lots of their imagination goes haywire and the people th that you do tend to date they are uh, hypnotized by you they're stuck on you they find it hard to move on that's one message i'm getting here strongly and wheel of fortune is people imagine good things this positivity they feel like wow this person is my chance at love some of people who've uh, been broken hearted they might meet you and feel like oh this is the one this is the one for you or them so there's some quality that you have where people feel like you're special you're unique and you provide some sort of a solace to the heartbroken we have the tear so people who have been hurt in the past they're broken hearted they see something in you which attracts them towards you i don't know what that is it's going to differ for every single person picking this pile maybe you have some romantic energy or you could be i don't know you make people feel assured or you could be forward maybe you are romantic or um i'm just getting that vibe of us you know some people who listen to music that's a very romantic people who write poetry uh something like this i don't know why i'm getting that i don't see any cards related to that but i'm just getting this feeling of a person who's very romantic they have this vibe where uh, someone look looks at you and they feel like wow this person will make a good partner and this person can make me happy that sort of vibe i'm getting here and you could also be positive also with wheel of fortune it's jupiter energy which i always connect with positivity a person who brings either they are very positive they have this uh, aura of jupiter or the person brings jupiter energy into someone else life so people who met you who are maybe down who are a little uh, pessimistic who are going through let's say a rough patch they might meet you and they embrace this positive energy that you bring to them key again here so it's like you are the key to their happiness something about you uh you come across as we have a key here we have a gem here see we have the wheel of fortune it's like divine timing is working so people might form fantasies around you especially a lot of people who have not met you maybe online they might create all these fantasies in their head something about you and they also are loyal to you maybe you come across as someone very loyal with dog you could also be someone who's good with animals I don't know why it's making me think of teddy bear also here for whatever reason I don't know who this message is for so let me know if someone in the comments connects with this but yeah let's get back to the track uh, there's so so much here about value so you come across as a value person high value person you also come might come across as a relationship material sort of a person because we have wheel of fortune we have the key we have the gem okay I also feel like maybe you've been broken hearted so you might express your emotions you might um share what happened with you and then some people resonate with that vulnerability they um feel like wow this person's been in the same boat they understand so they'll treat me nice you know that sort of uh, energy also I'm getting like someone who's open about their vulnerabilities which helps other people connect with you okay judgment also is connected to karma so someone who treats people fairly even though you've been hurt in the past you still have hope for the future you have positivity and you feel like you know what i'm not jaded by my experiences so i'm going to treat people right don't mind the uh, sunlight 
okay ashlesha is there ashlesha is also uh, the energy we see coiled serpent that's a symbol it's also about uh when two i will not go into the symbology too much because people then write in the comments i don't get it keep it simple that sort of a thing so let me know guys if you enjoy when i go into details or not today i'm going to refrain from that but it's about uh let's say a couple that's very obsessed or clingy um with one another so i'm getting this energy where people feel like uh they f- they found their mate they found someone who's exactly like them and they then they start to obsess over you so something about you where people feel understood they feel uh listened heard something about people really connect with you and they feel like you're the other half or i don't know you have this crazy um ability to connect with people where they feel very resonated by your energy so yeah that's what i'm getting with judgment it's also about treating people fairly being nice to people with dog you come across as a loyal companion you could also be a good friend they people might see you as a good friend you have good friendship qualities okay bear is also heavy energy it's stable person earth energy stable grounded so people feel like wow this is this person is relationship material yeah and also you come across as someone mature also with bear um i'm getting that energy okay let's look at some of the cards we have appreciation here i think i should fix the light let me okay i hope that's better we have appreciation so someone good looking someone who maybe has a lot of options someone who's magnetic and people are naturally drawn towards such a person the number breaks down to 6 which is the venus energy so you you are attractive you are desirable that's the word i was looking for you're desirable pile number 2 and people feel like wow i want this person they see so much value in you you come across as a valued person or something about you where people feel like this person brings value or they will bring value to me so we have appreciation maybe your uh re- what do you call it the love style or relationship i don't know love language i think it's called could be compliments okay we have love here love itself this card doesn't come out very often so you got it that's really uh beautiful we have intimacy so see people feel understood there's this intimate connection that they feel towards you they feel i don't know like something they've never felt before so either you have this capacity to connect with people deeply or um you open up a different side to people with key it's like you open up this uh, different side to people and they feel a very strong bond with you it's again making me think of ashlesha the coiled serpent the uh clingy couple is making me think of spiral also makes me think of repeating cycles where people tend to repeat you might have uh, repeated encounters with the same people over and over again that might also happen let me just move this one here and i think this is better okay so i hope that makes sense with you guys with what i'm trying to say um yeah so intimacy something about also you could have a very seductive quality also like um i cannot pick up let's say uh, with pile number 1 it was a face that i was picking up with you it could be the body also i'm drawn towards the body and ashlesha is also sometimes connected to the body i've seen people who are dancers people who are somehow they use their body in work for their work dancers uh, yoga instructors athletes they tend to have ashlesha placements so something here about the body and we also see a person who st- stood up upright so maybe your shoulders something when you show a little bit of skin that is also attractive but overall it can be your body it can be your walk also or just your body language something about you which is very attractive maybe the eye i'm seeing the eye here also the eyes usually it's the eyes that come out in these sorts of uh, readings but people find people are naturally there's some sexual attraction that i'm picking up here with ashlesha and intimacy we have for astrology we have mars we have scorpio 
so when these two cards came out i was naturally thinking of the eighth house and then eighth house also came out and uh, um, like i said in the pile number one i pulled two cards each for every group in the third pile three cards came out so i went back and pulled one extra card for pile number one and pile number two so eighth house came out which i was not surprised because first of all mars makes me think of first house eighth house it rules aries and scorpio scorpio itself is connected to the eighth house so it's the same placement basically mars in scorpio in eighth house it's just one placement the cards are repeating themselves so what i'm picking up here is that energy again intimacy eighth house is dark hidden energy where people uh scorpio in eighth house is exactly the same energy so very much about the intimacy sexual attraction someone who's very mysterious attractive alluring it's like something you want to explore something that scares you a little bit also like a feeling of danger as well but uh, with mars it can talk about forward action masculine energy being proactive so lots of masculine men could be attracted to you pile number 2 or whoever's picking this pile if you're a guy you could be very masculine and that makes you very attractive okay i've also seen people with this placement they're usually into tarot astrology um like hidden knowledge they're looking for that people who have secrets people who are interesting exciting and they don't show all of their cards in one go they keep surprising you over time they have so many different talents that they um reveal one by one so a person who keeps things interesting person who keeps things hidden that also makes them attractive you could have these qualities uh, and research oriented people i've seen uh, researchers with this placement people who are into psychology so you could be good at reading people um you could have a very um uh, strong imagination also people who do phd's and stuff like that that's very eighth house energy research person who goes to the depth of things some of you could have moola nakshatra also uh, jeshta vishaka and anuradha as well those are the nakshatras that fall in the sign of scorpio okay so what i'm picking up overall is your vibe your energy it's uh, the fact that you don't reveal everything about you you could also be a little shy and introverted that also makes you attractive then you have a fiery nature also it's like you behave a certain way all the time 90% of the time then 10% you show your fiery side that also people might find attractive you show your masculine side where you take charge you try to be a little dominating usually you might be more passive but that side of yours also comes out okay and uh, i've seen scorpio energy we do connected with loyalty so i'm not surprised that dog came out scorpions are uh, known to be the most uh, loyal people out there they can also be a little vengeful or revenge uh, take out revenge so you are someone who maybe if they hurt you you are the someone you are the sort of person who will walk away and they'll be like you are not treating me right i have high standards so bye and then the person keeps asking for forgiveness again and again they keep coming back to you okay so you are someone who might cut people off but then those people find it hard to let go of you they keep coming back that sort of energy can also be there you might experience that with people okay then also i don't know if i should mention this but the body part can also be the uh, behind the back side you know um yeah that's all i'll say so it eighth house we have all the body parts connected to the zodiac signs and the houses so it's the same message coming out twice so uh, yeah this area okay so that uh, people could find attractive also again the way you walk your walk could be attractive then uh, some of you could be good dancers also when you dance uh, you come across as very magnetic okay then there's also a desire to commit to you usually we don't see this sort of a uh, imagery connected to eighth house but we do have commitment here so maybe a lot of people see you as like a uh, was picking up earlier like long term partner stable partner someone who will be very committed to their partner loyal and uh, also that energy of uh, someone dependable someone loyal someone um very also can be passionate in love so people see you as a partner who's ride or die okay that is the energy i'm getting here with the 8th house so yeah these are the qualities i was picking up 
I hope you enjoyed the reading. It resonated with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to book a reading with me, the link will be in the description. If anything is confusing, you can write to me. My email will also be there. And uh, uh, the light is going in and out. So please don't mind that, guys. I hope that's okay with you. And yeah, that's it. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. I'll be posting the monthly prediction for next month soon. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hello, pile number three. The light is a little weird today, so I hope it's okay with you guys. So today's reading is what are your most attractive and magnetic traits? Okay. This is the card you chose, the flame. I'm going to start out with these cards, then talk about the other cards in a bit. I just want to mention that I'm going to be launching a new reading very soon. So it's a compatibility reading where you need the date of births to match two people. So if you, you can also get it if you are already dating or if you're interested in someone, whether that person will be a good match for you or not, you can find that out. I'll go over a bunch of different criteria for like Western astrology methods, uh, then Vedic astrology, matching the nakshatra, lots of things, aspects, conjunctions, all of that. So it's going to be a comprehensive reading. I'm really excited about launching that. So if you're interested, um, get excited. Find the details, okay, of your partner. So let's start today's reading. We have the dragonfly, air element. And by the way, uh, I offer other readings as well, three readings, three, three different types of readings. The link will be in the description if you're interested. Check it out. We have the man. I love how it's the man and then the number adds to number one, which is sun. Masculine energy. I don't know if it's focusing or not. We have joyfulness. Gives me three of cups energy. We have queen of wands. Fire energy. We have sun. Sun itself came out, so yeah, that's. I don't know why with pile number three always I pull extra cards. There's always extra cards, and pile number one gets the least number of cards. Usually there's a couple of cards less. We have Rohini. We have birds. Mercury element. We have the heart, which is also connected to sun. Um, heart is fifth house energy. So what I'm picking up here, first of all, is some of you could have Sun Rahu conjunction. This card gives me Rahu energy, dragonfly. Some of you could have Sun Mercury conjunction. Naturally, uh, whether it's this conjunction, that conjunction doesn't matter. It talks about intelligence. So it's your intelligence pile number three that makes you very attractive. Some of you, I think a lot of guys could be picking this pile because we have the man here. Um... Or if you're a feminine person, men could be attracted to you, uh, especially the masculine men. We see how this image, uh, the way these two cards are sitting, it's like the man has his eye on the queen here. It's so beautiful. I love that. Some of your friends could be interested in you. So some of your friends could be interested in you with this friendship sort of energy. I'm getting joyfulness. I'm also getting this energy, pile number three. You could be someone you you come across as confident, attractive, good looking. And someone who has a lot of options. Someone who comes across as a self-sufficient, independent sort of a person. Uh, this is what makes you attractive. So pile number three, you could be people who have, let's say, exalted sun, exalted Mars. Um, Mars sitting in 10, sun sitting in the 10th house, Mars or sun in the first house something about some masculine qualities that you could carry and that makes you attractive so men who like that who like a more masculine or um, independent person they're drawn towards you okay strong masculine energy it doesn't mean you're not feminine doesn't mean you're not good looking it's just uh, you stand out because of these qualities there's something about you where you call the shots um you don't depend on anyone else. You could have a lot of talents also. Multiple talents. That sort of energy I'm getting. Um, this sort of conjunction also makes me think of Sun Ketu or Mars Ketu. With the fire, it's fire element and Ketu is small flame. So, I'm also getting that. Um, sun, naturally, we connect with eyesight or looking. Or uh, just the ability to see things. 
so we see f- candle and flame here we see the sun here which also talks about sunlight so we are able to see in the sunlight so um it's all symbol it's all symbology what it means is a person their vision uh, their beliefs their perspective on things so this is what's coming through here also we see a person looking through the uh, telescope is it i don't know what this is uh it's not binoculars i don't know but anyway it's talking about looking at something what do you have your eyes on what are your goals what are your philosophies uh that is what matters so the way you are the way you come across these your philosophies on life the way you live your life who you are as a person this is what makes you attractive men find that very magnetic about you pile number 3 It, and it's also your intelligence like i said your intelligence also you are unique you stand out because we have rahu element here which talks about the foreigner the outsider the outcast so a person who has unique perspective on things a person who does things differently so you could be someone who stand out from the other girls for whatever reason your talents or whatever that you do for work or your beliefs or the way you live your life you stand out from the crowd you're very different than the average um female that men could meet so there's something about you which is different and unique if you're a guy picking this pile then you can attract such a female or you could be very feminine uh, very masculine pile number 3 and your intelligence all the qualities that i'm talking about just uh, change that and take it the way it resonates with you okay also i'm picking uh, some of you picking this pile if you're a female you could be someone who's a little more forward so if you're interested in someone you'll say hey i'm interested in you let's go out so some of you could have that quality as well not every single person picking this pile because we have the heart so it can talk about wearing your heart on the sleeve being very upfront about your emotions and feelings is it uh, focusing just to make sure we have rohini rohini is also she is the moon god's favorite bride so moon has 27 brides the 27 nakshatras and rohini was his favorite so there's something about you you're naturally attractive person sunflower also talks about attraction and good looks and uh, because sunflower has this ability to always you know it moves according to the sunlight it looks at the sun so you are someone uh, where you can also f- follow let's say you could be very close to your father you follow your father's philosophy the sun it's the father in vedic astrology right or you could be someone um, where people follow you pe- you are the sun and then the sunflower becomes your partner or the other people so in- they always focus on you the attention is always on you and people could emulate you copy you something about you being uh, like a trail blazer rahu energy always get uh, with a person who's different unique so people tend to copy them because they're doing things differently okay they are the trend starters trend setters okay and you are the illumination so you guide people uh, you could be you have uh, leadership qualities your work would, could be very important to you could be a workaholic also or just uh, this person who's a uh, I don't know very focused on evolving growing doing something in life there's a life beyond just your relationships for you you could be someone who's less interested in relationships or uh, love and relationship might not be your first priority that also makes you magnetic and attractive so men look at you and they feel like this person could date anyone this person um doesn't need me so if they desire me if they like me it's a huge compliment for them that's uh, that's what i'm getting also because you come across as independent that also makes you a little aloof and out of reach and uh, someone who's uh, a little far in the distance uh, men might feel like i i don't know if i can date this person if they'll be interested or not that also makes you more attractive draws people towards you there could be a lot of gossip around you you could be popular also some amount of fame you could enjoy with birds here it's talking about gossip enemies so only a person who's successful who's thriving who's doing really well in life they tend to have enemies otherwise most people might not even pay attention to what a person is doing so uh, it's again that energy of a person who has maybe haters or people gossip about you people are jealous of you rohini energy is also sometimes associated with a person where a lot of people are jealous of that person rohini uh, invites enmity from others jealousy from others evil eye from others maybe this can also be talking about here evil eye people putting evil eye on you people are keeping 
a watch on every single move and just looking for a like a mess up where they can critique critique you okay um also your sense of fashion could also be very attractive i'm getting that as well kids might be drawn towards you and your communication style could also be attractive because birds are connected with communication and sometimes it's also connected to sun so the way you speak you speak with authority you speak with confidence and uh, you get a lot of attention from people naturally you might not even notice it i feel like you are a little oblivious to the attention that you get and to the effect that you create on other people yeah that's what i'm getting here we have women holding a heart so see if you're a guy mm, picking this pile lots of women might be naturally drawn towards you might be attracted to you might be offering their heart to you and they'll uh, maybe ask you out they'll be more forward with you if you're a girl picking this pile you could be someone romantic fun flirtatious you could have a uh, lots of planets maybe in the 5th house or in the sign of leo you could have leo ascendant moon in leo something like this venus in leo or venus or sun conjunction and that makes you very romantic people see you in a romantic like light they want to date you and you're a fun time also fun to date here we have commitment beautiful energy what a lovely card number 4 associated with rahu again so rahu energy is coming through we have number 3 jupiter chivalrous chivalry so see uh, you come across as a person you could attract a lot of chivalrous men even the outfit looks a bit similar purple you know in the past we connected the color purple with royalty because it was the most expensive color you could get so the people who wore purple or people who had flags made out of the purple color it really symbolized wow this person's rich so yeah you come across as maybe a rich person someone who dresses really nice or high value person you could attract a lot of people like this people who are very chival chivalrous to you very traditional okay i'm getting that energy and offering you commitment seriously you know a lot of people right off the bat they're very interested and they want to be serious with you oh, this is what i'm getting what makes you attracted is i feel like also some of you you might be looking for like a long term commitment or marriage you might be someone hey i'm not really i don't date you might say certain things like this where you want to be taken seriously and you only want to take time out for something serious so you might not date a lot and you're just looking for strong commitment otherwise you won't date you won't um lower your standards for anyone chivalry also makes me think of a person who has traditional values looking for a tra traditional family setup or uh, you're like hey if i not treated right i'll walk away so you attract this sort of a uh, treatment from people because they know they have to show up right so you come across as a high value person and you also come across as a person who's looking for the real deal which also makes you more attractive especially to the people who are also looking the same looking for the same thing okay so a lot of people could also get you flowers with all this sunflower imagery we have a bouquet here i'm getting that as well we have lotus here also lotus is connected to anuradha nakshatra and pushya nakshatra lots of flowers okay flowers i connect with beauty for astrology you got and on the clock it was 13 13 13 is the number we associate with uh, rahu why because it breaks down to number 4 some of you could have a date of birth that's also 13 maybe uh, take the message as it res resonates because re i always connect the numbers with the numerology in vedic astrology and then someone also com commented that this number can also be the life path number so if you connect with that message go with that okay uh, we have jupiter here we have the 6th house virgo energy we have libra some of you could have debilitated libra that also you know it fits perfectly because earlier i was speaking about how you can have high standards you like if you don't treat me right i'm going to walk away and i'm looking for these 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 uh you know a b c d these qualities if that's not met i'm going to walk away and uh, person who dresses really nice very into fashion very um puts a lot of effort in their image that's very much like venus debilitated venus in 6th uh, house venus in uh, virgo energy that's exact bang on message for this uh, 
placement that I'm picking up. Some of you could have obviously Jupiter sitting in the six, Jupiter in the sign of Libra, you could have Venus, Jupiter conjunction as well. Uh, Jupiter can talk about a person who can sometimes, um, you know, it struggles. I recently did a private reading also, the person had uh, Jupiter in sixth house. And it's making me think of a person who has um, trouble accepting other people's advice, trouble expect accepting other people's favors or asking for help, someone who likes to do things on their own, someone who doesn't like to depend on other people. So you could have these qualities. Maybe that also makes you attractive. A person who's self-sufficient doesn't ask for help. Okay. It's again, it's like you don't need anyone. So when uh, you accept someone, if someone's interested in you romantically, you accept that person, the person feels like, wow, this is such a huge favor or this is such a big deal because this person doesn't like anyone. They don't accept anyone and they have such high standards. And if I meet those standards, that's that's amazing. So it's like an ego boost, getting attention from you, getting compliments from you, uh, getting to date you. Libra is also connected to relationships, right? So it's like if you're interested in someone, that's a huge compliment for men. Any sort of attention they get from you, they really like. And they have a very positive outlook towards you. Jupiter is positivity. And see, the person's jumping with open arms. It's giving me fool, uh, the fool card or someone who's very open to you. Okay. So one more thing I wanted to talk about. Jupiter in 6th, Jupiter in 3rd can struggle a little bit, Jupiter in Mercury houses can struggle a little bit. This is where the person becomes overly optimistic. So I think people might even put you on a pedestal sometimes because they like every single quality that you have, they become obsessed with you. That's one thing. And also a lot of people could learn a lot of things from you. The way you do things, it could be very particular. You could have lots of uh, quirks. Or the way you do things, it's very thoroughly and very obsessed with certain details. You know, six houses Virgo energy, detail oriented, very organized person, someone who can OCD also, someone who's very strict with their diet, someone like that, someone who has a workout routine. And just in general, there could be certain habits that you have and you're very particular to those, you stick with that. And uh, men could find that attractive or the people who are interested in you kind, could find that attractive. The fact that you're um, very dedicated, disciplined sort of a person. And uh, you do things in a unique way. So you could have a hack for something. Let's say the way you pack your stuff and you have a particular hack. The way you do your hair, you could have a particular hack. And uh, you do it and it's very unique to you. People have not seen it before. So they might be very impressed with that. The fact that you kind of surprise people with the way you do things because Rahu is inventive. It does things differently. It's a foreign element also. People could also be attracted towards you because you are very different than every single person. You have this Rahu element that's strong about you. So people feel like, wow, this person so unique. So that could also make you very attractive. And Jupiter is about uh, teaching wisdom. So a lot of people could learn a lot of things from you. And they feel like, wow, I learned so much from this person. They, and they're so knowledgeable. This person so wise and mature. So... Um, that also makes you attractive, the fact that people can learn a lot from you. And you're unique, you're different, you stand out, you have options, you're attractive, people are naturally drawn towards you. And you're also very intelligent. So I was getting intelligence earlier, now we have the planet of wisdom also with Jupiter here. Okay, so yeah, you work with well, you work well with people also. Libra is a natural house that I connect with being social and connecting with other people also in relationships. So people tend to gain from you. Overall, uh, there's so many qualities. I cannot even go over them again and again. So this was uh, really nice. Pile number three, I hope you enjoyed the reading and you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I read all the comments, try to write back to people as much as I can. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, all the links will be in the description. My email is also there. You can write to me if there's any confusion. And if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.